Amigos, NFT have exploded into the market. If you're a digital artist or you want to get into this NFT game, definitely check out this two part series tutorial. It's about creating your very own sports collectible NFT. Think of it as a great starting point and then you can add your own little twist. I'm going to include the project files, so check out the link in the description. And remember that life is truly a gift, make it count. Let's get started by creating a new composition and let's go to preset, choose the HD TV 1080 29.97. Let's change the width to 700 pixels and the name, let's call it back BG and I'll stick with 29.97 frames per second, but feel free to choose another frame rate. And if you choose another frame rate, make sure that your other compositions will also reflect the same frame rate. Let's make it 10 seconds long for the duration and hit OK. Now for this comp, very easy. Just add in your background. I'll add this background of this relaxing pool in Miami Beach. And let's create a solid layer, Control Y or Command Y if you're using an Apple computer. Let's make it comp size, hit OK. And let's go to the mask tool. Make sure that you select the rectangle tool and double click to create a mask the size of this comp. Let's change the color so we can see it better. Let's go back to the project window and let's create a new composition. And what we'll do is for the preset, choose the one that says UHD 4K 29.97 and let's call this outline. Now let's go back to back BG and simply select a solid. Let's copy it. Control C, Command C, and let's paste it into this outline comp. Control V, Command V to paste. And let's move this to the center. What we can do is hit P for position. Let's select it, right click, and go to reset. Now let's quickly go back to back BG and let's delete this layer. We no longer need it. Now let's go back to outline. And what we want to do is apply the saber effect to create the neon outline on this solid layer. But instead of adding it to this one that we created, we want to add it to a solid layer the size of our 4K comp because we want to give enough space for the glow. And to do that, hit Control Y, Command Y to create another solid layer. Let's make it comp size, hit OK. And what we'll do is we'll hide this second one. Let's go to the first one, hit M for mask, select the mask, copy, Control C, Command C, and we can delete it. Let's go back to the second one and Control V, Command V to paste. Perfect. Let's apply Saber. Go to Effect, go to Video Copilot, Saber, and let's go to Render Settings, Composite Settings, and go to Transparent. If we toggle the transparency grid, we have it on a transparent background. Perfect. Let's go to customize core, drill down to core type and select layer mask. Now for preset, feel free to choose any of these presets. But for the NFT that I created, I use the one called simple orange and let's switch it to a Miami vice color. And let's bump up the core size to 2.3. And let's move this CTI to the beginning at zero and let's animate the end offset. Let's make it zero. Click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe and let's go to the solid layer, hit U to reveal that keyframe. And let's jump forward to one second and let's make it 100%. And what we can do is select both keyframes. Let's add easy ease. F9 is for easy ease. and I'll switch it to half for now and let's check it out. Perfect. Let's go back to our project window and let's create one more composition. And this one for the preset, select HDTV 1080 29.97 and let's call it NFT. And what we'll do is we'll bring in our back BG and the outline. And let's place these layers in 3D space by activating the 3D switch. And what I'll do is switch my layout to two views horizontal. 
This one is an active camera and this one should be the top view. So if it's not the top view, make sure that it's selected. You can see these four blue triangles means that this window is selected and here we can switch it to the top view. Now for the outline, let's create two more copies, control D or command D. And what we'll do is for the second one, let's move it forward in Z space and we can hit P for position and let's make it minus 100. And for the third one, let's make it minus 200. Hit the letter C for Charlie to bring up the camera tools. And what we can do is orbit now. Let's move the CTI. Remember that we added this animation. Let's zoom in and let me pull out so we can see it. And let's stagger this animation every five frames. Let's move it. So the second one and the third one will be at 10. And what we can do is let's scale each one. So the first one, we'll leave it at 100%. The second one, let's make it 105 to make it bigger. And the third one, let's make it 110. Now, amigos, feel free to add more lines or to space them out differently. This is simply a way for you to get started. Feel free to be creative, to add more or change the spacing. Now, what we'll do is we'll add more layers. Since we're doing a sports collectible NFT, I'm going to make one for Dan Marino, which is one of my favorite football players. I grew up watching the Miami Dolphins and Dan Marino back in the 90s. So let's go ahead and let's create a Dan Marino NFT. Let's make this layer a 3D layer and let's move it forward in Z space. Let's make it minus 175 S for scale. Scale it up to 150. Let's orbit. And what I'll do is let's feather the bottom. Instead of adding a mask, let's use an effect. Go to effect, go to transition and choose linear wipe. And for the wipe angle, let's make it zero. And for the completion, let's stick to 13. So matches number 13 for Dan Marino and for the feather 75. Now let's add another effect. Let's go ahead and go to color correction, tritone, and let's give it some color. We'll give it some Miami Vice color. For the highlight, I'll make it this blue. The midtones, let's make it, let's see. There you go. And for the shadows, we'll leave it black. And what we'll do is we'll blend it. Let's blend it with the original. Okay, now from this point forward, it is totally up to you what elements you want to add. If you're doing sports, obviously adding elements that relate to the team or to the city of the team or to that particular athlete works best, but it's totally up to you. You're the artist. Since we're doing Miami Dolphins, Miami is known for the beaches, for the palm trees. What we'll do is we'll add these vectors these palm trees, I'll add this dolphin and we'll give it the Miami Vice colors. So what we'll do is this is a vector image. We'll bring in this vector. And since it is vector, click on this little star icon so we can continually rasterize. No matter how big we make it, it'll be perfect resolution. And let's place it in 3D space. And what we'll do is hit P for position. Let's move it minus 50. And what I can do is move it over. And let's apply the feather to the bottom. So let's go to Dan Marino. Let's copy this linear wipe. Control C, Command C, and let's paste it. Control V, Command V. Let's solo this. And we simply need to adjust the completion. Perfect. And let's make one more palm tree. Control D, Command D to make a copy. And let's go back and let's swap it with this one. Holding on to Alt or the Option key, click and drag to swap it. And what we can do is we can move this one over and let's move it in Z space and hit P for position and make it minus 150. Now the key thing is 
placing all these layers in different Z space. What we'll do is hit S for scale. Let's unlink it and let's make it minus 200 on the X to flip it. And let's move it. We can rotate it a little. Let's make it minus five. And this is looking good. Okay, let's add the dolphin. Let's add the dolphin and again, a 3D layer. Let's move it up. Minus 165 and we'll scale it up to 150. Let's move it. And what we'll do with this dolphin, we'll rotate it. So hit R for rotation and let's rotate it. And this is looking good. Now, there's one thing that is going on and this dolphin is breaking the plane of our outline. You can see this, we make it full resolution. We see this line here and this line here. And that is because if we go to our top view, these lines right here, these layers, let's change these to yellow. You can see that the dolphin is breaking that plane right there. These two, outlines. If it doesn't bother you, you can leave it like that. But a solution is to simply let's go to two views. A solution is to simply move them forward until they, it goes away. But what we'll do is let's move it there 100 pixels. We have a little bit on the fin. That's okay. We'll leave it like this for now. Amigos, this concludes part one. Head over to part two, where we'll add text, background, and animate the camera. And remember that life is truly a gift. Make it count.